October 2000, and I'm sure everyone keeps bringing that up because it's been a long time for fans to wait, mm. but it's been well worth the wait. The album is called Uh Huh. Her. <laughs> that's my interpretation of it. Anyway. Oh, that's a lovely interpretation. That one. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, no problem. All right. Um, the only inconsistent uh, consistency I should say that I can ever identify uh, throughout each album of yours is that you seem to approach each one very differently and deliberately. So, um, how did you decide that you wanted to approach this new record? Did you give it any thought? Yeah, I, I think, like you just said, I think my my main starting point for any record is to try to get away almost to the opposite end of the scale to what I'd just done. Um, and and also just to try not to repeat myself or other people. But, you know, it, it gets harder as well. The, the more records I've done, the more likely I am to start repeating myself a bit. And There's only so many directions and moods you can apply. I know, I know. And so, yeah, I knew I wanted to do something almost the opposite to stories. And the reason I do that with myself is primarily to try and keep finding new ground. I, I live in fear of ever just treading water. Treading the mm. same ground over and over again. And yeah. you see it happening to some artists, I think. And I, I really don't want that to happen. I want to keep sort of challenging myself and You've certainly done that. And when I listen to the record, um, having listened to stories which I think is a very positive and uplifting album, uh, it sounds like you found freedom and you found some love and you found some, some sort of excitement there. And this record to me sounds very self analytical. Like you've actually looked at your childhood or someone else's childhood. There's a quite a um, a dark attitude towards love in there as well. Does that all sort of make sense to you? Well uh, you know I think that no album I've ever written is an autobiography of mm. my life. Mm. Um, mm. Certainly this one isn't, the one before wasn't. I think people often make that mistake that you're somehow wanting to put forward the diary of your life for the last two years. You know, there's no way I'd want to do that. I mean, obviously there are parts of my life and my experience in there, but it, it's mm. not a documentary. Uh, what I love about the artwork on the record are these little notes that you've spread out throughout the album. And the one that really stood out was all that matters is my voice and my story. Mm. Uh, was this kind of a mantra you kept coming back to throughout the record to remind yourself what you're trying to do? It was a, a baseline if you like of what uh, what I wanted to keep reminding myself so as to stop getting too much getting in the way I mean you can hear that this record is a very minimal oh, yeah, sound record. there's very few elements to any song and that was what I wanted to try and do is if if a song is working with just a guitar and a voice or just the, just the voice, then leave it. Why put anything else in? There's one song that really stands out to me on this record, and it is brilliant. Um, it is called The Dangerous Kingdom of Love, and it really is. It highlights what you were just talking about. And, uh, yeah, I would like to play it. So here we go. This is taken from an album called Uh-huh. Uh. Oh.